This is the new Caltest Electronics BNC attenuator model CT4448, and it comes in three attenuation sizes. Here is Tony Schmidt, our Director of Product Development, to tell us about this new product. A really good example of when to use one of these attenuators is when you're going to go into an oscilloscope such as this. It's a PC-based one, USB or, or Wi-Fi in this case. Um, but the maximum input voltage is only 35 volts. And today we want to measure the input from an outlet here. And so that's going to be about 120 volts RMS. Well, I understand you need an attenuator, but why not just use a, a probe, an oscilloscope probe with the attenuation on it? Yeah, that's a very good question. So in this case, you know, most of these scopes will come with a standard passive oscilloscope probe. But in this case, again, with the outlet, we want something a little bit more durable. And so we have a, our DMM probes here. So more rugged, it's going to be safer um, for when you're working in these cat environments. And so it'll give you just a little bit more protection. So for easy math, I'll use the 100 times attenuation. And I'll just plug it in, one on each side there. This is 1.19 volts RMS, so times 100 is about 119 volts RMS, which is what we expect from the outlet. And what people don't realize is that the actual peak-to-peak -peak voltage is closer to 330 here, um, and that's just typical. You know, we usually only care about the RMS, but what's really happening is that full voltage, 330, um, and the 60 hertz, so you get your 60 cycles per second. You know, you can put them... Um, on your standard oscilloscope if you'd like, even though they have a larger input voltage. But it's always a good idea when you're not too worried about the frequency bandwidth, you know, any low frequency things like this to attenuate down just to keep it safer, especially in those cat environments where you could have a potential surge.